So you're happily spinning away on your beautiful Magic Craft Susie spinning wheel. You're getting beautiful, consistent yarns that are very fine and just lovely. But you're wondering, is there some tool out there that I could use to get really fine lace weight yarns with wraps per inches of around 40 or more? Real super fine to get those gossamer cobweb spins. And the answer is yes, of course there is. Magicraft does offer a lace kit that can be used on the Susie as well as all of the products in the Magicraft spinning wheel lineup. So my name is Jennifer Johnson. I'm with Whispering Pines Farm. My husband and I raise a beautiful flock of Saw Shetland sheep, and I'm also an authorized Magicraft dealer. Today in this video, I want to show you what comes with a lace kit, how to assemble it with your Susie wheel, and then a quick demonstration of spinning some lace weight yarn. So what comes with your lace kit? First of all, you get these bobbins. They're different from standard bobbins in two ways. Number one, the flanges are smaller, and number two, the cores are larger. And this is an optimal design for spinning lace. It also comes with a lace flyer. Now the reason this is optimized is there's a couple things going on here. Number one is because the flyer and the bobbin are smaller, there's less inertia so you can get higher speeds and high speeds are what you want when you're spinning for lace. And also the, the larger diameter core creates a shorter distance between your fiber that's being wound on the bobbin and the flyer. And so there's less chance for a breakage. The lace flyer is very unique in the Magicraft line. It has a smaller flyer bar distance, again for the inertia purposes. It has e-hooks on both, both sides of the flyer, and these are ceramic lined to reduce the friction, again for increasing your ability to spin faster. There's a ceramic lined flyer and a ceramic lined closed orifice. The flyer hook is installed on the right side, and this flyer is balanced with that flyer hook on there. So this is how you set it up. Don't, don't ever put your flyer hook on the left bar. The closed guide on the left side is there in case you like to spin using a lace pass, meaning you can send your fiber through the orifice, through this guide, then this guide, and then your flyer. And essentially all you're doing is extending the amount of time before your singles get wound on the bobbin for more twist to get incorporated into your single. Also with the lace kit is the high speed whirl, high speed pulley also known as, with the grub screw installed. It also comes with a two millimeter Allen wrench that you're going to use to install this whirl on your Magicraft Susie spinning wheel. This is the, the fast whirl, so it's got the smallest diameter of all the whirls that are available from Magicraft. There's two items that are not included in the lace kit that I highly recommend you add to your collection. First of all, the, the baby bobbin. This is sold separately, and I recommend getting a baby bobbin with your lace kit so that when it's time to ply, you're not plying on a standard bobbin with a standard flyer. Having the smaller baby bobbin that you can ply with your lace flyer is gonna reduce breakage, and it'll just be a much better plying experience. The other thing you're gonna wanna have handy is your four millimeter Allen wrench so that when you install your whorl, you'll be able to adjust the head up or down if needed because of the change in diameter from your standard whorl to the high speed whorl. So dig this out from wherever you may have left it. Um, it does have a hole in the handle that you can thread some yarn through and handily hanging from your wheel, which I recommend we do. So, so those are two things that aren't part of the lace kit, but are really handy to have. If you want to get yourself a lace kit, I do have them available in my shop, and I have supplied a link below in the description for the listing for the lace kit. I'm using Flicked Locks from our U, her name is Alara, she's a white U, and she has a very fine fleece. So her fibers are like 24 microns, I believe, which is gonna allow me to draft out extremely small quantities of fiber that'll get caught in the twist to make my very, very fine lace yarn. The first thing we need to do in order to use the lace kit is we have to switch out the whorl on the Susie. So I'm gonna remove the drive band. So I have to take the Allen wrench that comes with the lace kit 
and engage it in that hole of the grub screw on the head of the grub screw. Turn it to the left to loosen it. Leave the grub screw in the whorl. It just slides off ever so nicely. So I'm going to put that aside. Now I'm going to take the high speed whorl that comes with the lace kit, line up the grub screw with the flat on the flyer shaft, put the yellow wrench in the head, tighten it to the right. You want to make sure that your grooves are lined up with your drive wheel grooves. Okay, so that's the first step. Next step is to engage the drive band. After you've installed the high-speed whorl, you need to make a couple adjustments to the head. And that's because the circumference of the standard whorl is that much bigger that it might happen that your drive band is kind of loose and floppy when you install the high-speed world. So what you're going to want to do is adjust the spinning head. That's where this Allen wrench comes in handy. What you're going to do is you're going to insert it in this JCB bolt here. Go counterclockwise to loosen it up. What you'll find is your spinning head now can, can shift a little bit. So just raise it up ever so slightly, and you can actually raise up the entire head, or you can tilt it. So I do like to leave about a finger's uh, distance between um, dowel and the head. So now the drive band is a lot more taut, which is what you want, because that's going to give you more control starting and stopping. It's going to you know grab onto the grooves of the gear better. And then just tighten that JCB bolt with your Allen wrench and you're good to go. Now we're going to remove the Delta flyer that comes standard with the Susie. Remove the tension cord from the bobbin. Slide off the standard black plastic bobbin that comes with the Susie. And then we're going to take the lace bobbin, as you can tell it's the lace bobbin because it's got the fat core and also has the smaller diameter flanges. Either side is fine. Slide that on the fire shaft. Engage the brake band or the tension cord. And then we will treadle on the lace flyer. All right, so now we've got the lace kit installed. So now I'm going to thread my leader through my Orify. I'm going to thread my flyer using a lace path. I've got three different places where you can feed your fiber through. You've got your flyer, you've got your two guides, and your orifice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it through the flyer first, then my right guide. Then the left guide, and because it's got a ceramic lining, you can curve it around here and it's not going to cause any kind of friction or snagging or anything. Give myself a little bit more leader. And now I'm going to feed it through the orifice. So now we've got this going through the flyer, and I need to make sure I bring this around through the flyer, the one guide, the second guide, and then finally through the orifice. So now we're ready to spin very, very fine lace. My tension is already adjusted to a very light tension. I'm actually going to adjust it a little bit more. Okay, 
I'm only sending through a very, very small amount of individual fibers into the twist. If I had to guess, I'd say there's probably 20 of them. So I need a little more take up tension. That just doesn't seem like it's taking it up at all. There we go. That was the Magicraft lace kit on the Susie spinning wheel. I really hope you enjoyed watching me assemble the lace kit on my wheel and spin with it. If you did enjoy the video, please take a few minutes to like and subscribe to the channel. And also, um, just I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video and hanging on until the end. Um, I, I am going to be making more videos about the Magicraft Susie spinning wheel, so you can look for those. I'm using the overdrive head and the high speed head and the wheel scanner. So it's going to be really fun. Hope to see you again. Thanks.